Hello everyone, my name is Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing a brand new, this is a 2021, just came in. This is latter part of 2021 model year. So this is what the 2022 is gonna look like or, will, or what I like to say the 2021 and a half. Forest River Vengeance Rogue 29KS16. This is a travel trailer toy hauler. And really, man, is it awesome. This is, in my opinion, the ultimate travel trailer toy hauler. It just has a lot of cool innovations, a lot of cool features that are standard on this. And I'm just going to jump right in and start showing this trailer to you. So new for 2021 and a half is going to be a new decals, a little bit more aggressive looking on the front end here. Still has the three piece uh, front end. The bottom third of this uh, front end is going to be a rock guard up front here that's going to protect the front of that uh front of this trailer from any damage from you know debris flying up from the road comes standard with power tongue jack here it's got two propane bottles and it does have the 27 series battery we do fill the propane bottles up no charge here at the dealership uh, some dealers do charge for that so heads up when you're shopping around uh, does have the fiberglass exterior gel coat option now that is an option on all forest river vengeance rogues trailers uh, so it's a nice feature. I think it costs like 1500 bucks or so. And what's great about it is it, it really looks good. It doesn't have the metal waves on it, right? Uh, but also it's going to be so much easier to keep clean due to that gel coat finish on the fiberglass. So big door here. Uh, above the door we have outside shower, hot and cold water, city water connection. It has a spray port here. Uh, you can hook a hose up to that and maybe wash off something, your toys or uh, your feet, whatever have you. It does have a black tank flush too there and then underneath this door in this compartment here this is prepped for an own end 4,000 kilowatt gasoline generator so all the gas lines already ran all the electrics already ran so if you want to plug and play one in there you can surely do that it does have uh, the water heater six gallon right it's quick recovery you think six gallon mike i won't even be able to turn the water on it'll be out of hot water but it's quick recovery so it's a little bit different than a six gallon residential and what's beautiful about this it works off propane gas or electricity so it's two modes of power there really cool aggressive uh wheels on this double axle it's got a spot down here uh, uh, a hose carrier for your dump hose coming underneath here does have the insulated underbelly as you can see coming around it's got the party deck option comes standard on all vengeance rugs that's the gate system on this ramp the cables that holds the ramp out level of course you take the cables off the gate folds away and you can drive your toy up in there they've uh, put in a nice LED spotlight up here it goes over this area as well. Now this trailer does have a gasoline station on board. So it's got a gas pump here, about four foot of cable there. I don't wanna to touch it because it's a little greasy. You know, gas pumps, huh? But you fill your gas up here. So you, what you, what's great about this is you can put the type of gasoline you wanna put in here. Uh, so maybe you want a more high octane gasoline or maybe like ethanol, I don't know. You can put whatever you want, and then you can fill your toys up right there. Here's your pump. They're turning on right there. Oh, I do want to mention this. So this has got the leash latch here uh, for turtling the dog. It's also great to lock up your toys. It's got 1,500-pound capacity now on that clip there. That's a nice thing there. Power awning on this. Nice, big, long power awning. Goes over both entry doors. Notice that. Keep it nice and dry on a wet day. Front most does have a compartment up here. They've added uh, four tie downs in this compartment. So uh, really nice to have tie downs in your compartment. Uh, does have the table, which I didn't set up, but it's a picnic table. Uh, it'll go in front of the couch in there and you can also take it outside and use it outside. So it's a pretty standard table. This entry door goes right into the bedroom and the main entry, which was what we'll go in, has the nice more ride steps, the rogue emblem. Uh, cut out there and again this is the 29 KS so as we walk in we have a lot of buttons on the walls these are lighting controls awning controls slide out controls 
Uh, this over here is your monitor panel. This will tell you your levels inside your tank, so you know you never want to overflow uh, your toilet tank. So that'll let you know if you're getting close to the end of that. Uh, this here is part of this. This trailer has a juice package on it, which is a solar panel up on the roof. So right now I'm not hooked up to anything, and we've got 11.5 volts coming into this trailer, which is really nice. And then over here, it does have the heated holding tank. So not only is the holding tanks insulated, as I showed you before, uh, there's actually 12 volt pads on them. So if you want to camp in this in cooler weather, uh, you get the heat there. What I love about this travel trailer is the garage space. Huge garage. Factory says 16 foot garage. Uh, I always like to put a tape measure to all that, right? So it's it's between 15 and 16 foot. What you got here is this cabinet comes out a little bit further than the kitchen here. So about four inches or so. So, you know, really 15 and a half to 16 foot garage. Uh, for those that are you are definitely close, call us and we'll get you some exact measurements on there. But they've got uh, nine tie downs here on the floor. Now these tie downs are rated at 2,500 pounds, D-Link tie downs. Uh, it does have the couches. I've got one set up in the more of the, the cargo uh, setup where it's folded up against the wall and then one in the usable setup. Now what's beautiful about these couches is the backrest roll over, right? And that one would do the same. And this will create one giant bed under here. And then up top here, this also has a bed on the hydraulic rams that you just simply pull down. You pull down the back, pull down the front, and you've got an extra bed of sleeping up there. So it's ingenious. You don't need to bring cots and stuff with you on this. It, it's already there, and it, it's up against the ceiling or up against the wall when you don't need it. This does come with the screen room. They roll up right here. That's what we're looking at there. And the ramp itself is a skid-resistant material. Uh, but if you're like me, you'll still find a way to slip on it. But uh, nice uh, skid resistant material. Oh, I did want to show you this. So in the slide out here, so the slide out's going to be from here up there to the right of the stove. Uh, and then they've added this here, which uh, for us looking at this, uh, the floor flips up and we've got a hole in the floor. And you might be saying to yourself, Mike, uh, why are you trying to sell me a trailer with a hole in the floor? Well, it's ingenious. So imagine this slide's going to come in about two foot. So it's going to come in about right here. And imagine your four-wheel or whatever's got a big wheel. Well, what you can do is you fold this floor up, and as the slide comes in, your side-by-side, -side, whatever may have you, is still going to fit in here with that slide in. Because you can't pull this going down the road with the slide out. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Because when I first saw that, I was like, why did they do that? And then I was like, oh, someone smarter than me. All right, so we've got the kitchen in here. Uh, it's a nice big amount of counter stop space in this kitchen, as you can see here. Uh, and that's just exemplified with a, a sink cover here. Uh, they use a type of a countertop material in these that allow them to have this sunk down in stainless steel sink. And if you notice the countertop, there's no edgy on the countertop. I don't know if you've had some mica countertops and another trailer or house and the edge always pops off so you don't have to worry about that in this uh, it does have the high-rise faucet and it's got the hand sanitizing station here i like to call it the soap dispenser because it works both ways right all right uh glass inserts in the cabinets above has a nice microwave and uh vent up here and then uh extendable countertop space over the gas uh, stove here so it's got the glass top on it and that folds away when you go to cook uh, and gas stove top, three burners, and then gas oven. Does have the oven in it. Uh, several drawers here. Several, by several I mean three. <laughs> uh, over here we have a pantry. Glass insert on those doors as well, which I don't like. So that's the kitchen. And then right across the aisleway here is your refrigerator. This is going to be a 12 volt. Just under 11 cubic foot refrigerator. New refrigerator for this year. Really looks good. And then some more pantry storage space over here. It's really ample metal storage space. Radio that's going to play music on the speakers outside and inside. Of course, it's Bluetooth. It's got all the good stuff on it. So if you see my videos, I always talk about the radios. Sometimes I think, Mike, why do you always say the same thing? has the all-in-one bathroom here so we have our foot flush stool uh, i don't have diabetes that's antifreeze and <laughs> we we winterize them all if you see pink in a rv it's it's going to be antifreeze not kool-aid so don't drink it uh stand-up shower it does have a glass around in the showers i uh, got the sink 
medicine cabinet, a couple hangers there for uh, your towels. And then this door here goes right into the bedroom. Now this isn't the only door, there's another door. I'll go out here, but this is in the bedroom. Got a nice bed up here, queen size bed. Hanging closet. Shelving above. Here's a, I told you it's prep for a generator. That's where you start and stop it. So they add everything but the generator. Uh, but you're gonna need if you want that. And then a uh, USB chargers and normal power outlet on both sides of the bed. So here's the main entry to the bed. And it goes right back out in here into the kitchen. And main exit from the bedroom is right here out the second door. So if you're looking for a travel trailer toy haul, this, if I was you, would be high on my list. It's a great trailer. Now it's gonna weigh just under 8,100 pounds. So you're gonna need that, that bigger truck to pull this, three quarter ton. Maybe some new half tons can pull this, uh, but I definitely go for the bigger truck that can pull 12,000 pounds, or sorry, uh, 10,000 pounds or more. Uh, maybe 12,000 pounds, you might be putting some heavy stuff in the back there. So uh, that's the all new Forest River Vengeance Rogue. Uh, and uh, that's the 29 KS. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'm going to post some links below how to get in contact with us. Also, the links will have some more information that I may, might not have mentioned in the video, pricing, availability, uh, specific type stuff there. So check out those links below. Uh, financing is available with approved credit, and we'd love to have your trade. Links below about that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.